What's up, Sagittarius? This is Soul. And Sagittarius, this is your bi weekly messages uh, beginning December 18th and ending December 31st, 2017. All right, Sagittarius, this is going to complete your uh, birthday energy. So I want to first start off by wishing all the Sagittarians who are celebrating their birthdays in this two week period of time. Happy birthday, and also because this message or reading will run into uh, Christmas, so I want to wish all the Sagittarians a very safe and happy Merry Christmas. Uh, enjoy your time with your family and your friends, or whatever you decide or choose to do. Also, too, I've um, discovered that the issue with uh, some commenters um you know, mentioning the volume where I went into my settings and discovered that it was set low. So I do want to offer apologies to you. And I hope that this video is coming across loud and clear. Uh, so I was able to tackle the situation. The reading will be also for uh, Sagittarius moon and Sagittarius rising. Okay, Sagittarius, the last two weeks for you is looking pretty darn good real good okay and that's that's the way to close up the, your birthday month all right so we're going to start the energy off with um well let me just say this the uh feel that i have for the next two weeks is about uh feeling abundant having abundance it's related to being generous someone being generous to you Ten of Pentacles is your overall leading energy. So what a way to end the week or the next two weeks or your birthday energy. In the upright position, this is all about, um, you know, possible inheritance. This could be windfalls. This could be related to uh, because we are close to, uh, you know, Christmas. This could be bonus money coming. I do feel that it is related to some of you receiving uh, Christmas bonuses and maybe you were expecting or not expecting uh, money to come in because the page of wands is right underneath that uh, ten of pentacles and if you watch my videos in the past aces ace of wands page of wands eight of uh, wands is always about news and surprises coming in this is still part of your energy for the next two weeks so i feel that there's still some sort of surprises and news that some sagittarians can expect within this two week period of time all right so i do feel that the i am tagging a, a message though because related to bonuses because i think that you know the surprise may come in for those who weren't even expecting any type of uh, bonus this is a card of generosity the ten of pentacles and you know of course it's representing uh finances money but also generosity uh ten of coins ten of pentacles represent uh, taurus capricorn virgo male or female energies but you know whether or not there uh is anything that takes place or transpires within those energies it doesn't really matter because your energy here is the page of wands so news surprises coming to uh sagittarius and it may very well be uh related to an unexpected uh christmas bonus or could be a pay raise it might even be a possible promotion following this uh ten of coins or ten of pentacles is the uh four of swords that's in the upright so this is not a bad card some of you are planning um vacations planning future trips this is a card of rest relaxation rejuvenation you know putting a conflict any conflicts that you may have had uh to rest swords representing gemini libra aquarius male or female but it could represent you know the energies of uh, any zodiac sign when it comes to um this particular card where the you know the overall message is about you having to um, do me because this is me me time medit you know meditation uh, taking care of self 
following that Ten of Pentacles, it may be that, you know, money comes in that you may have been worried about in terms of financing a trip. So, the, you know, Ten of Pentacles is an indication of resources being available as well. So, some of you are planning future trips. Now, whether or not you're taking, um, you know, a trip during this two week period of time and that could be the case because some of you may be traveling to see you know family members and friends for the holiday so there you go but i feel also too even if you are um you know planning a trip this could be a solo trip just you know time away from all of the hectic uh energies that you've been dealing with and you just want to uh, spend time alone Yeah, so I'm getting possible planning of trips. So I'm taking the trip and money being available. There's a message in here for uh, some Sagittarians this two week period of time. The judgment card of Major Arcana follows the uh, four of swords. Any upright position, this is about things hidden in the dark coming to the light. Also, too, it could be just a message for those who are... Um, you know, using uh, harsh criticism towards self, being self-critical. This could also be the energy coming towards you from other people. Don't sweat the small stuff. But I do feel that it's just coming in from, uh, you know, Sagittarians to not be so harsh and critical. During this time, either towards self or towards others, because, you know, this might be that energy related to you know the the holiday and festivities you know it's always rough and it's always stressful uh when the holidays do approach and you know trying to get things in order line things up it's just stressful you know what i mean you you guys know what i'm talking about it's just fucking stressful and that's where the judgment card comes in and just say, hey, just, you know, take it easy on yourself. Take it easy on others. Um, there's not too much you can prevent as far as, you know, that energy coming towards you. But then you don't have to fall uh, prey. You don't have to step into their energy as well. OK, next thing up is following the uh, judgment card is the uh, two of wands. This is your energy again. So two of wands is showing up in the reverse. As I always said in the previous videos. When the two of wands shows up in contrast in the upright position there, uh, Sagittarius, this is you goal planning, setting, um, you know, foundations for uh, this could be, you know, ideals coming to you, but you're not ready to uh, move forward with them. But you may be, you know, contemplating or writing them down uh, for future events. So someone has already laid down some goals and plans. Number two, you know, possibly could relate to, you know, a relationship. The wands here being that, you, you know, it's your energy and that energy of, you know, Aries and Sagittarius, uh, yeah, Aries, Sagittarius and Leo, male or female. But I feel that if there was something that was from your past um, related to any goals or plans, now you're ready to move forward because this is what the two of wands in the reverse means. You're ready to move forward. If the two of wands was in the upright, then that would be, you know, still laying the foundation to those goals or making plans and you know it could also be that you know stagnation or you know the lack of progress related to a relationship but if it's goal planning and, and goal setting uh, you're just not ready to move forward with it until the timing is right sometimes you have to wait for intervention and divine timing to step in someone is moving forward with any um past plans or goals that they have set for themselves it mirrors the four swords here so this is the um equivalent to the uh, three of wands in the upright that something moving forward so that could be the trip that i had spoke about you know planning and then someone taking an actual physical trip because the wands are physical cards of movement all right so that could be what i'm getting spoke about the page of wands whether or not the news or surprises for you in the next two week period of time Sagittarius comes from another fire sign like yourself it doesn't really matter whenever this page or whenever the ace 
even if it was in the reverse or the eight of wands in the reverse different messages of course but i'm going to always stick to my intuitive impressions that this is always about um things happening very quickly and it's always coupled with uh surprises and some sort of news now could be a deliverer of some sort of surprise or news someone getting that um you know message about or getting news about a christmas bonus they weren't even expected that's just an example whatever the uh energy and how it applies to you you know that's what i'm coming up with following this um page of wands here now Sagittarius is the ace of cups ace of cups is showing up here in the reverse position still good energy so for some of you who are waiting uh for relationships this ace is saying that it's on its way also too um i'm tagging a message here because the ace of cups is in the reverse over top or underneath the four of swords someone is actually trying to take a break from a um possible water sign if it's a true water sign cancer scorpio pisces male or female it's like you need a break or they need a break from you outside of anyone having to need a break uh from a relationship it could be uh the ace of cups showing up in the reverse that there's a relationship that's on its way and there might be other energies related to um other variables but it, there's a love coming, a new love coming for those single Sagittarians, okay? That's what I'm getting. Fresh start, a new love. Feeling good emotionally once it begins. It could be that you're feeling good and emotionally or start to begin to feel good or emotional about having to uh, take some sort of breath this is also a card of um even though it's not the strength card i'm still getting that it's if someone is trying to take a break from a relationship it's like you you need that rest you need that break but it's also giving you enough time to um you know gain some sort of inner strength okay this is a card of physical uh taking action and some sort of reduction of conflicting energies so I just wanted to tie that in there. So that might just go out to one or two of you that I'm reading for. Um, next up is the uh, Ten of Wands. This is your energy again. So it's in the reverse. So it's not carrying that burden on your back or, you know, having to uh, feel like you got a lot of stuff uh, to tackle or to take care of. This could also be because I'm reading for you and it's uh, the holidays that you finish your shopping okay you got more gifts uh for a lot of people 10 wands could represent you know each person or at least one person but the shopping is done okay this may all be uh something that takes place prior to christmas and someone is trying to do last minute christmas shopping and they got uh uh you know either 10 people on their list or more than 10 people but you're going to complete it all right this is a completion two tens here ten of pentacles in the upright and the ten of wands which is your energy in the reverse now it could be also too since i have to throw in there in all fairness that you know it could be some sort of ending to some sort of battles or struggles whether they were external or internal you know having to deal with you know arguments fighting um with family members could be lovers could be you know co-workers that's coming to an end which is great final card that i have for you sagittarius is uh the king of swords so this is a court card and it mirrors the page so maybe there's a younger fire sign who gets connected to an older air sign now they don't have to be an air sign it could be any zodiac sign but <laughs> As of late, I've been getting a lot of older, younger type kind of energies, okay? And it may not be that they're so significantly um, that much older than you, or you could be older, you know, older, older than them. But this card in the upright is all about still taking action, being very determined. And, uh, you know, I'm coupled this with the Ace of Swords, too, because this man who's... Um, in this you know depicting this image in this card is standing there looking like you know he's achieved something so this is i'm gonna equate this with the ace of sword is you know achieving some sort of victory and success 
the bird in here is giving me an impression about you know having some um yeah taking taking action using your wit and your knowledge to become very successful for whatever that is or whatever it is that's going to occur here in the uh, two week period of time bottom line is is, is is you being determined in the upright position this could also be female energies this is the king two court cards here page of wands news and surprises coming then someone gets um, if it's related or attached to the news or surprises there's something uh, coming in related to achieving some sort of victory and success with the king of swords Gemini, Libra, Aquarius uh, represents those energies, male or female, but it could be anything, almost anything. This is your energy. I'm pulling in uh, the energy, taking action, being very determined. Maybe, be, you know, determined to get get your shopping done. That's just a, you know, a cheap example, but you can use that, that you may have a lot on your plate, a lot of people to tackle in terms of your list, your shopping list. But you're going to get it done. There's the determination by the king that follows it. All right. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope it's helpful and beneficial for you. Once again, I want to wish you all a very safe, happy, merry. Or, excuse me. I want to wish you all a very, very merry Christmas and a very safe one at that. Always emphasizing safety, sending out a lot of love and light to you all. Um, the next time I read for you is for the new year. Okay the next two week period so until then uh please be safe and enjoy the holidays take care sagittarius bye